Hi guys, welcome back to more games for two. Today you got another brand new gun to have a look at. Um, so yeah, here is my Scar L. So this is a assault rifle made by FN. It is full scale and looks pretty nice. And just to compare it, here is my older Scar, so my Scar H. They're very similar rifles. They are a little bit different. They shoot different calibers. That's got a 20 round magazine, that's got a 30 round magazine, the muzzle brakes are a bit different, and even the size is a little bit different. However, uh, this is chambered in 762 by 51 NATO, this is chambered in 556 by 45 NATO. So, different rounds, that one being more powerful, Scar H. Scar H, Scar Heavy, Scar L, Scar Light. That's a little pattern there. So yeah, this is the Scar H. That's my older one, go check on my video on that one if you want to see but this is the video we're doing on this one the scar l so overall looks pretty good uh, i think i messed up the proportions a little bit you can see i nailed it on the scar h this rail is almost at the bottom but not all the way it's, this is not too thick this here is a lot of space here this this entire receiver should have been like that big but like like that so yeah Messed that up a little bit, but overall, other than that, I think it looks pretty good, to be honest. So yeah, let's go to moving parts. Now, if you've seen my video on my Scar H, uh, all these moving parts, all the moving parts that were on the Scar H are going to be on this gun as well. Like, first of all, the magazine. It's very stiff, but it works. So yeah, uh, 30 round 556 five, magazine, you know, whatever. So yeah, next. Next are the sights, so that is the sight picture. There you go, and then that can flip down, and that can flip down. That just helps for storage. So yeah, next. Next is the fire control group, so first of all the trigger works. And the fire selector works, so uh, automatic, one and then safe. And it's also ambidextrous, which means it's on the other side as well. See I'm rotating it from the other side. So yeah, and it's ambidextrous. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, uh, next. So next there are three moving parts of the stock. First of all, this cheek riser is adjustable. You can lift that up. And make it higher, like that. It doesn't lock in at the top, but it does lock in at the bottom, if I show you. If I adjust it at the bottom, that, you can't see, that isn't going anywhere. It's not gonna go through all the way. There you go. Then pull this pin out, and then this can adjust for length. I'm not gonna bother showing you all the positions because there's six different positions. It's just gonna take to way too long. It's gonna be way too boring. Give me a second, put this pin. And lastly, for the stock as well, you pull out the major pin right here, and you can collapse the whole thing onto its side. You can store your pin in here. That's what it looks like with the stock folded. And again, this stock was a lot harder to do because this stock, this hinge for the stock here is like, it's not perfect. It's not perfectly straight like this. It's angled like that. You can't see that right there. That, it's angled. It's not, it's not straight like that. It's angled like that. That's so the stock folds not across, but in a sort of like a downward position. So when you rack the charging handle, you can still clear the ejection port. So yeah, and lastly, and lastly is the charging handle, so pull it back, it is on this side, and you release it as a rubber band. Very smooth. It is a little bit annoying that it's on the side, because when you rack it like this, you see, my hand bumps into this deflector right here, that, a little bit uncomfortable. So I like racking it either from the top like that, so my fingers are out of the way of the deflector, or just like that. But if I show you, this is my other one, this is my Scar H. This one jams a little bit, this one's a little bit more tight, you can see, that stays back. It is on a band though, if I push it forward, cross forward. See, if I pull it back only a little bit, you can see the ejection block clears on this one as well. But yeah, that just kind of clears like that, so it's not too comfortable. But it's alright. So yeah, um, the bolt on my 
This is the L, by the way. Score L. The ball on my score L works. So yeah. Uh, POV. A bit hard to do POV, it's a big rifle. So, yeah, that is my scar. Like I said, for the scar H, you want to see it, uh, look at my video for that. But here is my scar. So, yeah, bye guys. Have a good day.